Two-dimensional space, also known as bi-dimensional space, is a geometric setting in which two values called parameters are required to determine the position of an element, i.e., point. In mathematics, it is commonly represented by the symbol 2. For a generalization of the concept, see dimension. Two-dimensional space can be seen as a projection of the physical universe onto a plane. Usually, it is thought of as a Euclidean space and the two dimensions are called length and width. History Books I through IV and VI of Euclid's elements dealt with two-dimensional geometry, developing such notions as similarity of shapes, the Pythagorean theorem proposition 47, equality of angles and areas, parallelism, the sum of the angles in a triangle, and the three cases in which triangles are «equal» have the same area, among many other topics. Later, the plane was described in a so-called Cartesian coordinate system, a coordinate system that specifies each point uniquely in a plane by a pair of numerical coordinates, which are the signed distances from the point to two fixed perpendicular directed lines, measured in the same unit of length. Each reference line is called a coordinate axis or just axis of the system, and the point where they meet is its origin, usually at ordered pair 0, 0. The coordinates can also be defined as the positions of the perpendicular projections of the point onto the two axes, expressed as signed distances from the origin. The idea of this system was developed in 1637 in writings by Descartes and independently by Pierre de Fermat, although Fermat also worked in three dimensions, and did not publish the discovery. Both authors used a single axis in their treatments and have a variable length measured in reference to this axis. The concept of using a pair of axes was introduced later, after Descartes' Legumetry was translated into Latin in 1649 by Franz van Schooten and his students. These commentators introduced several concepts while trying to clarify the ideas contained in Descartes' work. Later, the plane was thought of as a field, where any two points could be multiplied and, except for zero, divided. This was known as the complex plane. The complex plane is sometimes called the argon plane because it is used in argon diagrams. These are named after Jean Robert Argand (1768–1822), although they were first described by Danish-Norwegian land surveyor and mathematician Caspar Wessel (1745–1818). Argon diagrams are frequently used to plot the positions of the poles and zeros of a function in the complex plane. topic in geometry topic coordinate systems in mathematics analytic geometry also called cartesian geometry describes every point in two dimensional space by means of two coordinates Two perpendicular coordinate axes are given which cross each other at the origin. They are usually labeled X and Y. Relative to these axes, the position of any point in two-dimensional space is given by an ordered pair of real numbers, each number giving the distance of that point from the origin measured along the given axis, which is equal to the distance of that point from the other axis. Another widely used coordinate system is the polar coordinate system, which specifies a point in terms of its distance from the origin and its angle relative to a rightward reference ray. Polytopes In two dimensions, there are infinitely many polytopes, the polygons. The first few regular ones are shown below. Topic: <inaudible> Convex. <inaudible> the Schlafly symbol P represents a regular P gon. 
Topic: Degenerate spherical. The regular Henagon and regular Digon can be considered degenerate regular polygons. They can exist nondegenerately in non-Euclidean spaces like on a two-sphere or a two-torus. Non-convex There exist infinitely many non-convex regular polytopes in two dimensions, whose Schlafly symbols consist of rational numbers n per meter. They are called star polygons and share the same vertex arrangements of the convex regular polygons. In general, for any natural number n, there are n-pointed non-convex regular polygonal stars with Schlafly symbols n per meter for all m such that m equals n n minus m and m and n are coprime equals topic circle equals the hypersphere in two dimensions is a circle sometimes called a one sphere s1 because it is a one dimensional manifold in a Euclidean plane, it has the length 2 pi r and the area of its interior is a equals pi r 2 display style a equals pi r caret 2 where r display style r is the radius topic other shapes there are an infinitude of other curved shapes in two dimensions notably including the conic sections the ellipse the parabola and the hyperbola topic in linear algebra Another mathematical way of viewing two-dimensional space is found in linear algebra, where the idea of independence is crucial. The plane has two dimensions because the length of a rectangle is independent of its width. In the technical language of linear algebra, the plane is two-dimensional because every point in the plane can be described by a linear combination of two independent vectors. Topic. Dot product, angle, and length The dot product of two vectors A topic. A1, A2, and B B1, B2 is defined as A B equals one B one plus two B two Display style Math BF at CDOT Math BF B equals A underscore one B underscore one plus A underscore two B underscore two A vector can be pictured as an arrow. Its magnitude is its length, and its direction is the direction the arrow points. The magnitude of a vector a is denoted by a display style math bf a. In this viewpoint, the dot product of two Euclidean vectors a and b is defined by a b equals a b cos theta display style math bf a c d o t math bf b equals math bf a math bf b cos theta where theta is the angle between a and b the dot product of a vector a by itself is a a equals a 2 Display style Math BF a C D O T Math BF a equals Math BF a carrot two 
which gives a equals a a display style math bf a equals sqrt math bf a cdot math bf a the formula for the euclidean length of the vector topic in calculus topic gradient in a rectangular coordinate system the gradient is given by f equals f x i plus f Y J display style nabla f equals frac partial f partial x math bf i plus frac partial f partial y math bf j topic line integrals and double integrals for some scalar field f u r two r the line integral along a piecewise smooth curve c u is defined as c f d s equals a b f r t r t d t display style int limits underscore c f d s equals int underscore a carrot b f math b f r t math b f r t d t where r a b c is an arbitrary bijective parametrization of the curve c such that r a and r b give the endpoints of c and a b display style a for a vector field f u r two r two, the line integral along a piecewise smooth curve c u in the direction of r is defined as c f r d r equals a b f r t r t d t. Display style int limits underscore c math b f f math b f r c d o t d math b f r equals int underscore a carrot b math b f f math b f r t c d dot math bf r t dt where is the dot product and r a b c is a bijective parametrization of the curve c such that r a and r b give the endpoints of c a double integral refers to an integral within a region d in r2 of a function f x y display style f x y and is usually written as d f x y d x d y display style i i n t limits underscore d f x y d x d y topic Fundamental theorem of line integrals The fundamental theorem of line integrals says that a line integral through a gradient field can be evaluated by evaluating the original scalar field at the endpoints of the curve. Let phi u r 2 r Display style var phi u subset ek math b r carrot two to math b r. Then phi q minus phi p equals gamma p q phi r d R display style var phi left math bf q right var phi left math bf p right equals int underscore gamma math bf p math bf q nabla var phi math bf r c d o t d math bf r topic Green's theorem. 
Let C be a positively oriented, piecewise smooth, simple closed curve in a plane, and let D be the region bounded by C if L and M are functions of X, y defined on an open region containing D and have continuous partial derivatives there, then C L D X plus M D Y equals D M X minus L Y D X D Y Display style oint underscore C L DX plus M DY equals INT underscore D left frac partial M partial X frac partial L partial Y right DX DY where the path of integration along C is counterclockwise. Topic In topology In topology, the plane is characterized as being the unique contractible two-manifold. Its dimension is characterized by the fact that removing a point from the plane leaves a space that is connected, but not simply connected. In graph theory In graph theory, a planar graph is a graph that can be embedded in the plane, i.e., it can be drawn on the plane in such a way that its edges intersect only at their endpoints. In other words, it can be drawn in such a way that no edges cross each other. Such a drawing is called a plane graph or planar embedding of the graph. A plane graph can be defined as a planar graph with a mapping from every node to a point on a plane, and from every edge to a plane curve on that plane, such that the extreme points of each curve are the points mapped from its end nodes, and all curves are disjoint except on their extreme points. <laughs> <laughs> 